Minecraft creepypastas are terrifying, and honestly, some of the best parts of any online community are the creepypastas. So today, I found the most interesting, disturbing, or unknown ones that I could that are based on the world of Minecraft, and those are what we're exploring today. Let's do it. And let me know down below what your favorite Minecraft feature is, whether it's new, old, removed, added, do it. In a 10 Raiden, I was playing Minecraft with a friend of mine, actually two, Deadlord24 and Princess Duffy. It was a private server, no one else had our IP, and we were chatting when he joined. At first, Raiden didn't seem harmful. He seemed friendly. He was chatting with us, but I kicked him off the server. All Raiden did was try to talk. I guess that's all he really wanted. I got off my laptop to eat dinner, and so did my other friends. The next day, I went to play Minecraft, and Raiden was still there. Craters had replaced our buildings. I still think he never left. I went on Skype and invited my friends to Minecraft to show them what had happened. They eventually joined, then Raiden spoke. You left. Don't take it so hard, man. You don't understand the pain I went through. Are you okay, man? You're no different than the ones who betrayed me. Then the screen glitched, and we all got scared. It took me back to the same title screen, except the title kept glitching, having random placements all over the screen. I clicked play, and it took me to a world. Then Raiden said, I was just like you, a regular Minecraft player. All I wanted to do was talk to people. They bullied me. It was my depression that led to my death. All because of those brats. But now, you play by my rules. When I catch you, you die. So, what are you waiting for? Run. In at 9, Hero Rhyme. Pretty classic one, I feel like you should all know it. I had recently spawned a new world in single player Minecraft. Everything was normal at first as I began chopping down trees and crafting a workbench. I noticed something move amongst the dense fog. I thought it was a cow, so I pursued it, hoping to grab some hides for armor. It wasn't a cow though. Looking back at me was another character with the default skin, but his eyes were empty. I saw no name pop up, and I double checked to make sure I wasn't in multiplayer mode. He looked at me and quickly ran into the fog. I continued on with the game as I expanded my world, and I saw things that seemed out of place for the random map generation to make. Two by two tunnels, small perfect pyramids made of sand in the ocean, and groves of trees that had their leaves cut off. I would constantly think I saw the other player in the fog, but never when I looked in that direction. I saved the map and went onto the forums to see if anyone else had found this mysterious player, and I received a PM from the username Herobrine containing one word, stop. About a month had passed until I heard from someone again, and it was revealed that Herobrine was the brother of Notch, the game's developer. I personally emailed Notch and asked him if he had a brother, and his only response was quote, I did, but he's no longer with us. And it ate Lunar. I haven't touched Minecraft now, I'm too scared to do it, I can't open it, it haunts me. I'm the only one who has encountered it, here's my story. Two weeks ago, it was a normal day in Minecraft. Usually, I was working on my stone creeper statue in my house's backyard, and so far, I was finished its head, until I heard weird running footsteps behind me. I turned around and only found nothing. With this strange occurrence, I started growing suspicious, but not for long, as I started to go back to work. But, in a moment, the footsteps returned once again, and this time I turned around fast and still found nothing. Strangely, I thought of this as an in-game error sound effect, so I chose to ignore the footsteps and continue building the stone creeper. It was nighttime when I finished the creeper, and I got home fast as I was afraid of the hostile mobs. And then those weird footsteps outside got louder. Do you want to know the rest? Read it. And it's 7 Shadow Dragon. This creepypasta comes from the perspective of Brian, who says, I'm a good Minecrafter. I have good building skills and playing skills, but one day that I experienced is something I will always know. On Saturday evening, I was making a new map with my friend and we got a bit bored of building. Then we decided to go on to one server. The story starts there. When we went on to a server, I noticed it was loading slower. It took around 20 seconds. Usually it takes five. When we loaded, the textures looked darker, and we were the only ones on the server. We explored the server to find actually no mobs except for a few zombies. Then we started to walk slower, and the screen got darker. Creepy music started playing in the background. Then the screen was very dark, barely visible. We saw a new player join the game called Shadow Dragon, and we got a closer look at him, and he looked like the Ender Dragon, but darker. He had dragon wings and a tail, and looked at us and said, get ready. If you lose, you and your friend will be eaten. But if you win, you'll be left alone. Then we got disconnected from the server with the words, the one who cannot escape will suffer. 
offer. And at six, the scream of the end. The usual stories about Minecraft will always go to Hero Brian, about how he lives and how he's a lot more than code, but have you ever wondered about the Endermen and whether they have any secrets about them? Everyone who has played Minecraft is very well familiar with them by now, and while they can be hard to find in the overworld, many have visited their home in the end. Of course, they aren't hostile unless you look at them or attack them. For this reason, quite a few people consider them friendly and like them. Personally, I've always found them creepy and killed them whenever I could. They're based off the Slenderman after all, and well, being as strong as they are, regular players know that if you run into one right after your spawn, you run for water. For some reason, Notch decided to code them with the fear of water. And who ever thought that anything bad could happen with water, right? How we're doing at number 5, the Ghost Player. I was playing early in the morning, at about 4am. Seems like a rather cliche time for something odd to happen, but bear with me. I was wandering about my world, venturing through the islands I had conquered, before I decided to craft a boat and go sailing out for the large bay. I had resided in this bay the entire time I've had this world, so I figured I wanted to explore. I had barely sailed for a minute before I spotted odd terrain generation. It seemed weird, like it had been generated in an alpha version or an early beta version. The grass that had been everywhere around my house was non-existent, the ground was a dead color, trees were rare, and random pockets of stone came up with the grassy floor. I thought this was strange, but I kept sailing, thinking that it was just a biome I didn't know was in beta that just got removed. Not even 30 seconds later, I saw on the horizon a small peninsula jutting off from the dead land. I couldn't make out what it was until I got up a bit closer. The fog was cleared with torches. Torches sporadically placed on the land. I was curious and sailed towards the peninsula, and once I arrived, I saw him. If you want to know the rest, go read it. That's right. I'm redirecting you. Do it. And at four exception, I got bored of Minecraft and left it for about one to two years, but then I came back due to nostalgia. That's pretty silly, I know. That's when I started to experience some weird events though. I was playing Minecraft like any other player would, in a single player world starting off as everyone usually does. And then the events started. A couple of lava source blocks placed one block deep in the ground. They continued appearing until there was like 13 almost, uh, but I put that aside from my mind like a total idiot, thinking that maybe it was a feature that I had missed. I continued to expand my house, making it look decorative for once, but blocks, items, and tools started to vanish. I knew that there was something going on now. I was terrified. So I went to the forums and asked questions about my situation. I got a PM from another user saying that he also had the same occurrences, but nobody else seemed to. I remember what he told me. I found this thing in my single player world. At first I never spotted it. I quickly caught a glimpse of something as I was looking at the screenshots. However, at the edge of some of the screenshots, sometimes in the water, sometimes on an island, on a tree, there was an entity I had never seen before. But if you want to know that, you'll have to read the rest for yourself. I'm sorry, okay? These are long stories. I can't fit 10 of them into like a 13, 10 minute video, all right? So if you want to know the rest, go read them yourself or let me know in the comments and maybe I can make one video about it, about like a specific one, all right? Sorry. Getting close to the end in number three, Enderman.exe. One day, I was in the Xbox 360 game store and I saw a game which was called Enderman.exe. It was a orange text with a bunch of Endermen on it. Uh, I downloaded it and decided to play it and, uh, you know, I did. Uh, and when it started, there was no Mo Yang or 4J Studios logo. It was just the intro. The orange text with a bunch of Endermen were at the top of the screen while happy music was playing. I, when I pressed start, the text was red and the Endermen had blood on it, which stayed for around a second. Then the logo said level 1, the forest. When I was in level 1, my Enderman was in the middle of the forest in daytime. I needed to find a way to escape. I found a path which led me to the end of the forest, and when I walked there, the song of unhealing music from Ben Drown started playing. The trees had no leaves, and there were a lot of dead mobs, including Endermen. When I kept walking, the music got louder and creepier. And finally, when I got to the end of the forest, the music stopped and I saw a ghast. I walked up to the ghast, and when my player walked to him, they started shouting with each other. Then a bloody picture of a ghast appeared on screen, it stayed like that for around a second, and then the screen cut to black, and I heard screaming. But ultimately, in number two, Darkness of the Farlands. My server, which actually me and my best friend in Canada own, was down because he hadn't paid the bill. My favorite server had recently reset as well, causing me to rage quit, and with nothing else to do, I decided to play Minecraft Beta 1.7.3 with single player commands. My cursor drifted over the gray buttons, single player, create new world, and I thought, let's see how far I can get through the Farlands before I crash and like 
out. Mistaking them for Farland's coordinates, I teleported, and a smirk went across my face as memories flooded in. A long time ago, I had posted on a Minecraft forum a topic about a glitch at 524288x and y, and its subsequent multiples. Uh, the terrain would mess up and then cut off exactly at this spot. Something caught my eye though. The ice near the glitch corner was arranged in a pattern that slightly resembled a face. It was a, a normal glitch, but the face still kind of bothered me. I shrugged it off, thinking that it was absolutely stupid for me to think that. Then I paused the game, searched up the actual coordinates for the far lands, and that's when things only got worse. And finally, in a number one, Entity Zero. Around the time of Minecraft's structure was just being created, 2010, in, de in dev, in dev, alpha, there were talks going around the small staff at Mojang at the time of including a major enemy in Minecraft. Worse than spiders, worse than creepers, something that would truly challenge the player and terrify them. This is where the project codenamed Annihilation came to be. Annihilation itself started off as a few useless zeros hidden in the code of Minecraft's earlier versions, both as an easter egg and as a future reference for where the developers would code for the entity. Working on Annihilation began mid-beta Minecraft, where features really began pumping into the game. The skin for the entity was procedurally generated, much like Minecraft itself, using grays and a few red pixels, and the only way the entity could spawn was if exactly eight zeros were entered as the seed. Annihilation could only spawn at a specific coordinate in this zero world, and Annihilation was left almost abandoned following the release of Minecraft. But nobody found the bug in the code that allowed Annihilation to merge itself into the main branch of Minecraft's code, granting it control over every single aspect of the game. That's all the time we have for today, friends. If you want to find out the rest of the stories for any of these, check them out, alright? I, I don't have time to delve into every one of them, and if you want to get mad at me, that's fine. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been in Shower Rank on Monroe, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.